بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله الذي العظيم الحمد لله رب العالمين صلى الله على سيدنا ونبينا أبي القاسم المصطفى محمد اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وآله الطيبين الطاهرين لا سيما بقية الله في الأرضين أجل الله تعالى فرجه الشريف اللهم أخرجني من ظلمات الوه وأكرمني بنور الفه اللهم افتح علينا أبواب رحمتك وانشر علينا خزاء نعلومك برحمتك يا أرحم الراحم الحمد لله we are able to have this session from the holy city of Qom uh, I am here for the beginning of the Rasalat course so Alhamdulillah Friday night we had the opening and from yesterday the courses based on Islamic belief system and Imam and Wilaya have started. This year we have two programs, one is in English, one is in Arabic. And we have also some KLC members here, so it's very refreshing to see some of them here. And inshallah the course continues for two weeks and uh, inshallah after Qom they go to Mashhad. But uh, I have to leave here on Tuesday and go back to London and be inshallah there for two, three days so that inshallah we go to Italy for the course in Trent inshallah. So let's uh, continue our reflections on du'a'i makaram al akhlaq We reach this point. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa alih wadra'anni bilutfik. O oh Allah, please send your salutations to Prophet and his family. And please remove and send away from me because of your grace and favor, which means protect me, send away from me the problems, harmful things. So this means protect me to save me we are subject to many different things that may come and harm us or if it's not harmful at least annoy us you know sometimes something comes like a disease that can harm your health sometimes it's not harming but it causes disturbance you need to take medicine or for a few days you know you have you know some colds you know cold uh, symptoms for example anyway either they harm or they annoy you they occupy preoccupy your mind they waste some of your time and energy so we ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us from anything which is bad and disliked wadra anni bilutfika because of your favor your grace wadhuni bin'matika and with your blessing with your bounties please give me Food means nutrition, means grow me. So we ask for protection and growth. This is amazing. You know, a flower needs nutrition. You have to give water and there are some chemicals that need to take from soil and sunshine, air, oxygen, all these things. So you need taghdiya, you need to give whatever the flower needs to grow. But also sometimes there are some insects or some disease that may attack. You have also to have protection. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for protection plus for requirements for our 
growth. Wa aslih ni be karamik. I know that I have also some problems already. So in addition to asking for protection for new problems, I don't want new problems. I want also growth. But what about existing problems? We are not free from problems. We are not masum. We are not pure. We have already problems. Problems in our qualities of the soul. Maybe we have some vicious qualities. Maybe we have bad habits. Maybe we are lazy. Maybe we are not determined. Maybe we are not persistent. Maybe we are selfish. Maybe we are not generous. Maybe we are not kind. Maybe I get angry very soon. Maybe I am not organized. Maybe I am not good in keeping uh, relation with my family, with my friends. Maybe I am not wise. Maybe I am <laughs> suffering from all these problems. So there are problems that already exist. So what do you want? We want islah, reform for problems that already exist. With your honor and with your generosity, please correct me. Reform me means any disorder please take it away so it's very beautiful protection growth reform and correction and maybe there is a need also for treatment perhaps even surgery so we need also some kind of medicine so with your own sonar son means action with your own action also treat me cure me sometimes reform and correction comes without cure means it might be easier sometimes we need to go to doctor maybe we need to have an operation surgery you know in the past you know I still as today also they have some for example injuries the only way for treatment was to burn them the last medicine was to burn the place which was injured and infectious and there was no treatment sometimes maybe the treatment is that the organ that is infected has to be cut off so there are different types of treatments some may be painful some may be causing uh, some problems Disability, for example, you know, you lose one organ for future, but at least the rest of body remains. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for protection, for growth, for reform and correction, and for treatment. Please also provide me with shadow in your own safety give me shadow which means put the shadow of your safety and security on me because maybe you have some worries of problems, attacks, disrespect, accusation, or even physical attacks. So we need amn, we need safety, we need security. And 
if Allah's shadow is on us. It's not just helping with respect to the heat of the sun. If Allah's shadow is on us, means nothing else can reach us in a negative way. We are under his protection and care. وَأَذَلَّنِي فِي ضَرَاكِ وَجَلَّنِي رِضَاكِ And please put on me the dress of your pleasure. I want your pleasure cover me. I want your pleasure be between me and the rest of the world. It means, you know, because dress is something that touches you and stands between you and the world. Anything like heat or cold from outside would not come to you. And also you don't want people to see your body. So it's protecting. So protecting from what you don't want to be exposed and also protecting from what you don't want to touch you and reach you. Plus, dress also beautifies you. So we ask Allah to have the dress of his pleasure, which will then give us protection, decoration, and stops our bad things or private things to be exposed, things that we don't want to be publicized. But also would touch us like a dress that touches your, sh you know, sh shower, your hair, and your skin. Then we ask for something very, very important when we want to make decisions. وَوَفِقْنِي إِذَا اشْتَكَلَتْ عَلَيَّ الْأُمُورُ لَأَهْدَاهَا you know, sometimes things are easy and we can find our way. You can make good choice. But when things become very confusing, very difficult to discern what is right, what is wrong, what's the good choice, what is the bad choice. Here we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us tawfiq for doing the best of the affairs, choosing the best, ahdaha, the one which is nearer to the guidance, which the most appropriate ones. So, you know, every day we make lots of decisions and maybe every year we make some fundamental decisions. You know, it's not that every decision, although we should not underestimate any decision, but it's not that every decision is very great. But every year we make few decisions that are very, very important and they can change my life forever. It's not like decision, for example, what to eat tonight, where to go, for example, you know, today uh, evening. Although these are important and sometimes can lead to consequences that can affect my life. But not necessarily every decision is like that. But sometimes we have to make big decisions. When you want to choose a subject for a study, university, or for example, a job, or you, know, you want to start in a business or, I don't know, partnership in business, or you want to marry, to have children, a school for your children, which community to attend, which lectures, you know, for example, to take, which books to study, for example. These are things that can have long-term and sometimes eternal impact. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that whenever things become confusing and difficult to discern, please give me tawfiq to choose and do the best of them وَوَفَّقْنِي إِذَا اشْتَكَلَتْ عَلَيَّ الْأُمُورُ لَأَهْدَاهَا وَإِذَا 
تشابهت الاعمال و الازکاه when actions become very similar to each other so that I am confused I don't know which one to do give me the توفیق for doing the purest of them ازکاه the purest of the actions because in the end of the day everything is to help us <clears throat> with our tazkiyat al nafs with our purification of the soul and actions are our main steps for purification a person who is mu'min who has already good aqidah now needs to work on his actions and qualities so when it comes to actions Qualities are not very difficult to understand. <laughs> you never get confused whether I should be selfish or not, whether I should be uh, generous or not. In actions, we have problems. Which action is the best one? So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us tawfiq in such cases when actions uh, you know, become very confusing, they are not that much distinct from each other that what is good what is bad to do the azka the most uh, uh, clean the purest of them وَإِذَا تَنَاقَضَتِ الْمِلَلُ لَأَرْضَاهَا now we go one step further I said for mu'min actions can become confusing but sometimes even our aqidah might be in need of selection maybe you are still doing research on your aqidah in general or some aspects for example something new a new question comes like i don't know like for example feminism pluralism what's the best idea to believe Al-Milal, here is not uh, uh, meaning nations. It is true, Milla sometimes means nation. But here, Milla is what we use in, we say, you know, Al-Milal wa Nahal. Milla means tradition, means belief. Milla in this sense. You know, we have many books on sects. And denominations called Al Milal wa Nahal, like you know the one famous one by Shahrastani or Ayatollah Subhan, you know, uh, our one of our contemporary greatest scholars has book in many volumes on Al Milal wa Nahal. So, when the ideologies and doctrines contradict Tanaqadat al Milal. People have different interpretations of truth or of faith or even inside, for example, Islam. There are different you know, readings, different versions, different interpretations, different approaches. Please give me tawfiq to choose the one which is the most pleasing one. La arbaha. What is the most pleasing? Most pleasing to you? most pleasing to logic and rational evaluation, most pleasing to my soul and spirit, most pleasing to rational and good people. It can be all of this or one of these. So something which is the best, the most plausible one. Then we say, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa alih wa tawajni bil kifayah. Oh Allah, please send your salutations to the Prophet and give me the crown of kifayah. Kifayah means sufficiency. It's not important how rich you are. There are people who are rich but they feel needy and poor. They're always worried and therefore they cannot spend. Sometimes, you know, someone will say there are rich people that die out of hunger. They don't eat. 
They don't spend on themselves. What is important is kefaya. To have enough to afford your needs. What we need, a person like me, which has a family like my size of my family, age of my family, and you know anything that relates to my condition. How much I need, what I need. I don't need to have necessarily a lot. I don't have to want to be poor and suffer and not being able to spend on my family or my friends or my community, my project, whatever. So what is the best? To have kefaya. Kefaya in financial aspect, also kefaya in any other aspect. I want to do some ibadah or I want to do some, you know, I don't know, physical activities for the sake of Allah. So I need sufficiency in physical power. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us the crown of kifaya so that whatever I need, I would be able to have and utilize, inshallah. I think I stop here so that we can have enough time for question and answer and interaction. So let me read uh, once this dua so that inshallah we pray together and ask actually ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, to give us these requests uh, now that we understand perhaps we can pray to allah to give us this inshallah allahumma salli ala muhammad wa alih wadra anni bilutfik wa ghudni bi ni'matik wa aslihni bi karamik وداوني بصنعك وأضلني في ذراك وجللني رضاك ووفقني إذا اشتكلت علي الأمور لأهداها وإذا تشابهت الأعمال لأزكاها وإذا تناقضت الملل لأرضاها اللهم صل على محمد وآله وتوجني بالكفاية Amin. Ya Rabbal Alameen. Allah.